Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. In this video, I'm going over one of the first really compelling e-commerce applications of stable diffusion and text to image technology that I've seen. So I'm a little frustrated because I'm actually working on something right now that's quite similar to this. It's not t-shirts, but it's a similar concept where I generate a bunch of things, uh, then post them on Etsy, and then try to use some simple methods to uh, figure out what's good, what people like, and limit the amount of time, money, and effort I have to put into finding people on Fiverr to do this. So I actually know some people, they're friends of mine from college, who've done this for quite some time on Amazon, where they generate a corpus of things they think people will want, so either like political t-shirts or memes from Reddit, use some basic natural language processing, and then, and then farm out with manual labor these shirts and then see what sticks and continue from there. This is cool because it's dynamic, it's built in, and it's end-to-end. -end, and I would bet that the APIs being used here mean that this person is doing no fulfillment. Like This is likely end-to-end, -end, completely automated and passive, which I think is cool. Some people might not like this. I, I, I think it's cool to see this application, and I commend the person who built this. And if you DM me, I actually have been in contact with the person who made this website called This Shirt Exists. And uh, I'm working on getting a discount or some kind of affiliate code so you guys can use this for a bit of a discount. And right now it's based in the UK, so I'm not actually sure that their print and ship provider ships to the US, but that's it's in process. So um, they draw from some of the better UIs that um, use stable diffusion or use kind of text to image. So they give you some prompts of things that uh, people have bought prior, which I think makes a ton of sense. And uh, these are pretty boring. I mean, they, they look cool, they could be wrong. Um, they suggest this rainbow zebra shirt. And uh, yeah, so they are using stable diffusion. That's cool. Um, if, I, if this were me, I would probably use some housed or tuned versions of uh, something like Midjourney, just because it's more simple and I don't have to host any infrastructure. But uh, it's cool to see they're using Stable Diffusion. Uh, it looks like they're running, this is pretty serious because they actually have a copyright. I wonder what this, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, so someone who actually like really knows JavaScript and React has built this. It's snappy, it's not uh, weird. Um, yeah, so you can start with an image, you can start with a direct prompt. Let's see if I hit shop. Okay, so it'll show you a few more. It's interesting. I wonder why they don't have like a live feed of what people have ordered. Um, I was reading some people commenting on this and I do know that boobs and ass have been banned, but supposedly if you're not careful, this goes a little wild with, um, for instance, if you, put in peaches, uh, it can get a little um, off canter in a very similar way to uh, the way that pony diffusion did. We're not, and you know, pony diffusion as shirts, that that would be interesting. There's a funny story I'm not going to share re regarding a friend of mine who did pony fan art to fund their college, but we're not gonna get into that. So, okay, so I can pull up, all right, so I can pick a color, I assume, Oh, cool. All right, so the, the preview does change. And you can start with an image here. So I will say space snake wearing yellow on the moon. Doesn't seem too risque. Let's see what we end up with. Okay. So there's definitely some filtering going on in terms of getting this into one, a picture that will fit on the t-shirt. Um, I've played around with this a little bit too, and it, it looks like they're in certain cases restricting the color space or the amount of colors you can have in an image. Uh, and it definitely seems to favor like one primary foreground and background color. Um, so there are plenty of gradients in here though. So they might just be direct printing regardless. I, I, you know, I'd actually, I would buy that. You know, I'm probably gonna buy a few of these and I might do a giveaway with you guys at some point. So I wonder 
do they ship to the US? Okay. Wow, that's here below. Okay. So they don't really say, I assume they'd only ship within the EU because I'd be really, I, there are not many direct ship APIs that handle both areas. So um, yeah, I will get back to everyone as to whether or not this works in the US. I'm gonna order a few of these regardless. And um, we might have a space snack giveaway at some point, who knows. So this is gonna be a quicker video. Um, you know, it, it's stable diffusion in a really clean product. And I, I'm honestly stunned that it took this long to end up here. But uh, yeah, the link's below, play around with it. Um, check back soon or watch the comments for a discount code. Um, Cause I definitely wanna support the engineer who built this. And yeah, I hope you learned something from this and have a good rest of your day.